Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am actually out, outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we have some information from uh, Venom. I looked at the IMDb page once again, and just like I did in the first movie, I wanted to go through the stunt department because now that we're getting closer to the movie's release, around this time for the first movie, I was going through the stunt department and we found some you know, extra goodies in there. And uh, I once again, I found a nice little goodie for this episode. So what I wanna talk about is uh, we have a couple people. First off, we have someone named Rob Bowen and he is a stuntman and he's gonna be playing a, a beaten mugger. So I guess at some point there's gonna be a mugging scene in the movie and we already knew about that because some of you guys already told me about uh, Michelle Greenidge who has been cast as mugging victim. Um, and so I'll have her picture up there. And uh, and so she's been listed as mugging victim. And some of you were theorizing that maybe they're gonna recreate the scene from Lethal Protector where Venom, now that he's the hero of San Francisco, he shows up and helps this lady in an alley. And then after he you know gives her her purse back, he pats her on the head, uh, which is such a great scene in the comic book. And we were hoping that was be gonna be in the first movie and they never put it in there. So maybe it's something that they might put in for the second movie to get like a, a slight laugh and stuff, uh, which would be really good if that's the case. So, uh, so good theories on your guys' part. I think that's a very viable uh, possibility. So Michelle, you know, she's going to play a mugging victim and Rob Bowen is playing a beaten mugger, I guess, at one point in the movie. But he's also listed as something else. He's doubling up on his roles. Uh, he's playing the beaten mugger, but he's also a stunt double for an actor named Reese Shearsmith. And Reese has not been confirmed or talked about or mentioned at all to be connected to this movie. And Reese is a, is actually really awesome. Like I didn't know who this guy was, but I decided to look him up and you know check out his IMDb credits. Uh, he's got you know stuff in. He was in Shaun of the Dead. He played a, a role in that. Uh, uh, the role Mark. Um, he was uh, created kind of co-created his own uh, kind of series called The League of Gentlemen, which he won an award for. And he's part of like a, a group of people that you know put that together. And it's a show that ran from like 1999 to 2017. Uh, so the guy is very prolific, very, he seems like a very smart guy, very uh, talented person, um, and it has a lot of like um, you know different roles he's played. So I'll put a link to his IMDb down below and you can see his picture up here. Uh, but I have never heard of this guy, but he's an actor, a writer, and a producer. And, uh, and he's done a lot of stuff in London and, uh, and done some really great TV show and film stuff as well. So I'll put a link again down below. And uh, I just wanted to share that. I, I think that's so cool because remember in the first movie, we found that somebody was doing stunts for Melora Walters, who I'm a huge fan of. And when I heard that she was going to be in the movie or saw that post on IMDb, I was like, wow, someone's playing Melora Walters stunt double, but she was not listed on IMDb as playing anyone in the movie. She turned out to be the homeless woman that broke through the glass and grabbed Eddie and then transferred the symbiote to him, which we talked about. We I wish they added a scene there where the symbiote, when it transferred to Eddie, it gave Eddie her memories. And then that way he can kind of see the Life Foundation was involved, you know, and it, that could have pulled him in. I mean, they had Jenny Slate's character kind of do that for him, but I kind of thought that was a cool power from the symbiotes in the comics that didn't get shown in the movie where they can transfer memories and carry memories from previous hosts. And I thought that would have been cool and that would have helped Eddie kind of, you know, you know, get justice for this woman that, you know, he used to, you know, give money to every day when he walked by her. So, uh, so, you know, he did like little small things for her, but it would have been cool to see, use that as like the impetus to get him to do something big to, you know, kind of avenge her. So, uh, so yeah, so, but I love Melora Walter. So of course I wanted her to be a bigger part of the movie. So seeing this was like, Hey, that's cool. That reminds me of Melora Walter. So it looks like Reese Shearsmith is going to be in this movie too. Cause typically why would you list that you're a stunt double for somebody unless it was true? This is not one of those mistakes that IMDb makes often. Uh, so I don't know what role he plays for all I know, his role could get cut or something. That's a possibility, but still, I thought this was good to bring to your attention, and so we can start talking about who Reese might play, because he's you know pretty well known actor here. He's done a lot of great you know parts, and uh, and he's a very smart guy, does writing, directing, and stuff like that. So uh, so I'm I'm curious to see. I mean, he might play like Sean Delaney is playing a small part as a cop. He you know uh, uh, Reese here might be playing a small part. I'm thinking maybe he could be someone that's either in jail, like another criminal, or he could be another cop, you know, a detective or something. He could play a very small part. He could be somebody who knows Eddie Brock. I mean, we don't know what his role is. Maybe he could be set up for like a future movie, like a future villain. I mean, I have no idea, uh, but I'm excited to see, and I want to hear the speculation from you guys, uh, because, you know, with the other stunt team, we had Jeff Mosley, I saw on there listed as the Venom mocap guy, so I want to give a shout out to the other stunt people that are doing stuff. There's a lot of stunt people, so I'll put a link to the stunt team, you know, down below, because we're not going to be able to get through everyone. Uh, but 
then there's also Sam Durrani and Vinny O'Brien, who are the stunt doubles for, uh, you know, uh, Stephen Graham. Uh, so both of them are doing stunt doubles. And then there was someone listed, uh, Chris Waite, uh, who was listed as the warden um, or warden stunt double, I'm going to assume. Which means that some at the jail, I guess the warden is going to get thrown or, or you know, pushed around or something's going to happen to the warden. Maybe when Cletus Cassidy breaks out of prison, uh, you know, the warden's going to get slung around to where they need a stunt person playing that part. So I thought that was interesting, too. So I thought that would lead to some more speculation. So I want to hear it. What do you guys think of all this information? Let me know down in the comments below. Check the links if you want to see more. And, uh, and if you have questions, let me know. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll try to get more episodes to you guys early next week. I hope you enjoyed these five this week. And I'll try to get five more to you next week. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.